How to send large files for free with end-to-end -end encryption on Trezorit. Trezorit is a cloud storage platform, but also a cloud collaboration platform. To send a file with Trezorit, the first thing you need to do is open up your browser and navigate to www.trezorit.com. Once you're here, you need to click on this big blue button here that says get started. Left click on it and then you'll be taken to Trezorit plans. By default, you'll be on the four businesses section. You want to click on four individuals. Once you're here, scroll down and on the left hand side, you should see the free option here, which allows you to securely transfer files for free up to five gigabytes in size. So you can send as many files as you want, as long as they are no more than five gigabytes in size combined. So to send a file now, click on this text box here that says send files now, just left click on it you'll now be taken to Trezorit Send. So to start adding files that you want to send with Trezorit Send, you just need to click this plus symbol here. So just left click on it, and then the File Explorer will open. So I'm just going to search for my video file that I'm going to be sending. I'm going to be sending the City Skyline video file, which is an MKV video file. It's 11.9 megabytes in size. Just left click on it and then click Open. On the left hand side then, you'll be greeted with the following options. An area to put in an email address. I've already used Trezorit before, hence why it has already filled in my email address. So you want to put in your email address as the sender in here. It's important to include this as once you've generated the link, you'll have some admin controls later down the road, which you may find useful. The next option is to get emails about Trezorit products and services. I tend to leave this unchecked. And then you have the link settings, which is very important. Now the first two link settings are available with the free version of Trezor at Send. However, the last three options, you will require a premium plan to use them. So as you can see, the first link setting option here, it says protect link with password. And we are definitely going to do that. So I'm just going to include a password here. You will need to give the recipient this password, so make sure you write it down somewhere or take note of it. And the second option in link settings is email me when someone opens my link. I always check mark this as well, as I like to know who's snooping on this link and if the recipient is sharing the link with anybody else. And then of course the last three options, unfortunately you cannot check mark them. However, I'll read them out just for completion's sake. It says limit link openings, turn on access logs, and require email verification. All right, so once you've configured your link settings, you'll be able to see the files that you've added. So as you can see, I've added one file called cityskyline.mkv, and you'll see the file size. You'll have the option to add more files if you want to, and then you'll have the option to create a secure link. So once you're happy, left click on this big blue button here, which says create secure link. Trezorit will then begin uploading your file or files and encrypting them. Once that's done, it will generate your share link. All right, guys, the share link has been generated and it says your files can be accessed with this link and the right password for seven days or 10 times. So the recipient can open the link up to 10 times and has a maximum of seven days to open the link. So if I scroll down here, you have a couple of options where you can send the link through Gmail, Outlook and Office 365, or you can just copy the link and share it with the recipient through an encrypted end-to-end -end channel, such as a messaging app on your smartphone or on your desktop device. Also, remember to include the password when you're sharing the link with the recipient, otherwise they can't access the file. The next thing I want to show you is on the next tab here, and this is the Chrome Web Store, and this is the Trezor It Send extension, which you can get for any Chromium browser. Brave is a Chromium browser, as it is based off the Chromium code, and therefore you can add any Google Chrome extension to Brave. So all you need to do is navigate to the following URL. I'll include this in the video description below, and this will take you to Trezor It Send. And all you need to do to add Trezor It Send as an extension to your browser is to click Add to Brave or Add to your browser's name and then click add extension. The extension will then begin downloading and installing onto your browser. And there we go guys, the Trezor It Send extension has been added to our browser and all we need to do now is just left click on it to open it. And as you can see, it looks exactly the same as the web browser that we sent our video file on previously. So again, all you need to do is just click this plus symbol here, search for your file, left click on it, open it, and then you'll have the exact same options you had on the web application. I'm not going to send another file again, I just wanted to demonstrate the browser extension quickly for you.
Alright guys, the next thing I'm going to show you is the admin controls. So because you included your real email address and you checked marked email me when someone opens my link, you will receive emails from Trezorin. So I'm just going to go into my email address real quick. I'm just going to open up this tab and as you can see it says your link has been created and then it will give you just a brief summary of the link that you created such as the size, the date it was created, the expiry date and the number of files. You'll also have a button that takes you to the admin link and I'm just going to left click on this and then click open just to show you what that looks like. So as you can see in the admin link you can see the number of times your link was opened and you can also see when the link expires and you also have the option to revoke the link's access to everybody right now. I'm not going to do this, however, this is a good option to know in case your link was compromised somehow. The next thing I want to show you is what the recipient will see once they've clicked on your link. So let's go back to Trezor at Send here and copy the link that we generated. And then let's just go to the top here of the web address and just paste in our link and hit enter. And now as you can see, if you are the recipient of that link, on the left hand side here, you'll be able to see who it was sent by, what are the settings on the open count limit, which is limited, the availability, and if there is a password. As you can see, there is a password, and it says this content is protected by password. You'll need to enter the password that was given to you from the sender. So I'm just going to enter that now, and then hit submit. And as you can see guys, the recipient will automatically see the file or files that you have sent them once they've clicked on the link and entered in the password. Remember, as the recipient, you have 7 days to access the file and 10 clicks on the actual link before it expires. Alright guys, that pretty much concludes the video. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, be sure to give this video a like, comment down below, and most importantly of all, subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you on the next video. Is it so hard to let you go?